Does infinity really exist? Or is it just sort of fun to think about, but isn't really a thing? I mean, let's say you had an infinite bag of potato chips. It's never empty, right? You can always just have one more. And let's say that every tenth chip is one of those overcooked ones that tastes all burnt and awesome. It seems like there's way fewer of those than the regular chips, right? Well, if you start counting, you can match them up. The first regular chip with the first burnt chip. The second regular chip with the second burnt chip. The millionth regular chip with the millionth burnt chip. Because it's an infinite bag, for every regular chip, you can find a burnt chip. Which means, in a sense, there's the same number of each kind. And that is just, ah, how can they be the same? It makes you think infinity might be kind of bogus. Sure, maybe it makes perfect sense in the abstract land of math, but does it have anything to do with reality? Because no one has ever seen or measured something infinite. Sure, you can set up two mirrors across from each other and stand in between them, and you'll see what looks like infinite copies of yourself. But that's just an illusion, right? There's not really infinity of you, it's just a bunch of reflections. If there really were infinity of you, you'd need an infinitely huge universe in which to live. And no one knows how big the actual universe really is, but the part we know exists has a finite size. That doesn't mean infinity is impossible, though, because it can also be really small. As you shrink down, infinity lets you split up space as much as you like, meaning for any two points, you can always find a new point in between. Sort of like a rubber band. So even a finite distance might have infinite points in between. But we don't know that you actually can split up space forever. Eventually, you might hit a limit, where space becomes more like a bunch of little tiny squares or cubes, sort of like the pixels on a computer screen. Except instead of each square having a different color, it just has information about the field or particle it's part of. That seems weird too, but in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking and others showed that a given volume of space contains a finite amount of information. And that means people can estimate the maximum amount of information the entire known universe can hold. 10 to the 122nd bits. Ta-da! That's insanely huge, but not infinite. So if the amount of information the universe can hold is limited, does that mean there's a biggest number? We know there's a cosmic speed limit, the speed of light. Why not a cosmic number limit? That's a totally weird idea, but then again, what's the alternative? Infinity? Oof. <laughs>